Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm repairing a few rock chips on my C5 Corvette. So I just want to take you along for the process just to show you how I do it. So let's get started. Now to get started, you just need to get your choice of paint touch-up. I got this from Automotive Touch-Up. Uh, as you can see, this is the color code for Millennium Yellow. Um, you've seen this on a few of the channels. Uh, I think Larry from Ammo NYC was the first one to uh, do the video on this. Um, this is the Low Cornell uh, Fine Line Painting Pen. As you can see, the, uh, the tip on this is very fine this helps you get into uh, all the paint chips um, as uh, I believe uh, Troy Sowers said in his recent video that he put up on this when they first put this video out there uh, this pen is I think like six or seven dollars something like that I'm gonna leave a link down in the description on where you can get it on Amazon but uh, I guess they sold out like right away and uh, if you waited like a few weeks the price shot up to like fifty dollars so uh, now it's been quite some time since that video and uh, now the price is back down to the same like seven, eight bucks, whatever it happens to be. Now overall, uh, my paint's in decent shape. Um, what I didn't show on the video, uh, within, uh, it was last weekend, I uh, strip washed the entire car. I, uh, I clayed it and then I did a very light polish on it. So right now all the paint is removed of all the protective wax. Uh, the worst spot is really like all the mirrors the mirrors are pretty dinged up you'll see all the all the rock chips there i uh, started to mark a few spots on the paint with some tape so there's a spot there on the hood we have a few spots these are that one's really tiny this one i actually already touched up it's probably really hard to see you can barely barely see that's right at the end of my fingertip there Let's see if i can get a there you go you can see a little reflection of it so I did that one, and also a little one over here, and then a few along the panel here, and then of course this mirror as well. Uh, this mirror is probably probably a little bit worse than the other one, but uh, they're about the same. Now I don't know if in the future if I'm going to uh, if I'm going to wrap the mirrors or not, but at least want to take care of the rock chips for now, and uh, at least we'll go from there. All right, now in order to put touch up paint into your pen just get some get some paint on on your brush here and then just let that drip right in just keep doing that until it's filled up most of the way and that's probably good enough for uh, the amount of rock chips that I'm doing and just close that back up then we can just go right into uh, doing the rock chips. Now before you even get started, you just want to tap this out into a paper towel just to get the paint flowing through the tip. You can see now I got a little bit of paint on there. So uh, now we can get started into the rock chip. All right, so I'm just gonna start here on the fender. Just tap, just tap this into the rock chips, just like so. And then we move on to the next one. These are probably hard to pick up on the camera. to the mirror over here
man, I am nowhere near as steady. Now we'll move over to the other mirror. Just gonna tap this on here just to get this flowing again. Okay. Man, Larry makes this shit look easy, dude. Plus, he's got a camera crew. I'm trying to film this with one hand, trying to do this with the other. This shit ain't easy. Not easy getting vertical surfaces with this. I guess that's just one downfall. Just go back here, get this flowing again. one I guess that is a paint chip those are all the ones that I saw when I was uh, polishing the car oh, we did have this one up here too There we go, so I'll, I'll let those dry for now. I'll come check back in a, a few minutes, see how they see how they look. And uh, if I need to add a little bit more touch up, I will. Or uh, maybe we'll just go straight into polishing and finishing that off. But I mean, you can see, I mean, from a distance, even up close, I mean, you can't really tell that the touch up is there. I mean, I know, Video quality probably isn't the best. I probably definitely have to touch these up just a little bit because you can see you can see where the chip was. Then I'll just go in and, like I said, I'll polish that up, and you won't be able to tell. Let me show you how to actually clean out uh, this right in here. They do within the kit. They give you this, you know, this little tool here. This you can just put right into the end, right into the tip of this, and that's how you uh, that's how you clean out the tip. You know, as you can see now, that's yellow from the uh, paint that's in there. So the easiest way I found to clean this out is use a Q-tip. I uh, just want to. I'm in the sink here, so I just want to wet this a little bit. All right, get that a little wet. Let's turn that off, and then you can just use your Q-tip. That'll clean out the top portion here. And then in order to clean out deep inside, 
what I do is I remove portions of the Q-tip here. That might be enough. We'll see. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. So you take all that off. Then you can push this Q-tip all the way, all the way in. There we go. And then just twist that around a little bit. And then that'll see all the all the paint that came out. That'll do that. Repeat that a few times. That'll clean all the paint out of here. And then also still use this tool here to clean out the tip. Uh, you know, you just move this around in here. You see that it comes out this side. So that's the easiest way to do it. You just got to repeat that a few times. Eventually, this will come out pretty clean. All right, so here we are after about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Um, I mean, if you can see that, it's kind of hard. I mean, it does, this GoPro doesn't really focus all that well. But, I mean, all those chips that I did have are definitely filled in and looking a lot better. Um, it was easier to see here on the mirror. I mean, you know, you, you can't see them from a distance. I'm going to have to, you know, you probably may not be able to see this on the camera, like I said, but I'm going to have to touch these up a little bit better. Um, you know, I'll just have to go back and do those, uh, you know, another go around. But I'm going to do those without the camera. This way uh, my hand's a little bit steadier. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave those down below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.